going to start things off today with what may end up being a recurring segment. It kind of depends on them. Ladies and gentlemen, the inaugural winner of the I Tried But I Just Can't Make This Shit Funny Award, George Mathai. Give it up for George. He's a reprehensible piece of shit. And now... God damn. Stop being the world's biggest possess. Start another inquisition. Get rid of these atheist pricks. Only man between woman period. What is this, a fundy version of fridge magnet poetry? God hates sin. You man, me woman. Me like woman. Me like woman too, but not have problem if man like man. Love awesome. Happy to see it. God didn't make people become gay. Only devil did it, and evil want them become brainwash. I will pray for them. Devil figment of imagination. God too. Part of church brainwash. I will think for you. Consenting adults in love not evil. It beautiful and rare thing. Yes is evil. God hates sin. I feel sorry for you, Bill. God is real. Hell is real. That facts. I find it massively amusing and entertaining to see so many terminally condemned Masonic Jews heckling and harassing little me just for that fact. It really bothers them that I belong to the king of the universe. So much so that they have to portray me as an ice queen. And who wouldn't be cold-hearted to demonic crap like that? You will be wiped, demonic Masonic Jews. Get over it. God has a score to settle with you. And that is so amusing to read all your accusations of me being fearful and afraid. That is the most twisted lie that you've come up with so far. Only pathetic and gutless, frigid, Dysfunctional and demonic idiots put floating tin cans into space to spy on a woman. Let her know what's going on, then deny it. And attack her ceaselessly for three decades. Putting everything into metaphors through the media, movies, songs, videos, and endless garbage that she is smart enough to understand without groveling to crap in the industry to explain it all to her but without enough evidence to go to the police and lawyers with. Except my DNA test against your snotty brats that you bred from my garbage. But you've sabotaged the DNA website. You are so crazy, you cannot even see what insane trash you are. Pussy-arsed fag videos are the latest craze and the real thing, apparently. How boring. So obviously staged. Only Americans and idiots would pay money for them. Cats came from ancient Egypt and were gods of pharaohs. They are creepy and no wonder the Masonic Jews are obsessed with them. In fact, I bet the Masonic Jews are behind all the greedy money-making hype. The keyboard cat looks like Elton John after ten speedballs. The same hand up his backside, propping him up. Crutty wardrobe and boring songs. Oh, look, yawn. Another tribute from the Masonic Jews in Hollywood. This one is ridiculing my cold hands due to the Raynaud's I have in winter. And gloves I have to wear, mentioned in many songs, including Boy George's King of Everything. And the Canadian Mountie I met waiting for hours outside the Vatican in a queue to get to Midnight Mass on a trip to Italy in December 2011, who coincidentally lost his job as the Canadian police liaison officer at the Canadian Embassy in Rome very soon afterwards for no reason whatsoever. And the Frozen Kingdom refers to Russia, and the mongrel who stole my feminine hygiene products and cloned them, then gave them to the idiots in the entertainment industry to breed with, as long as they paid him, of course. Not again! Catholics, all de saying, 
I ain't surprised over this attacks from them. They are known to be the brain behind homosexuals and gay atrocities. Only God can deal with their cases. Looking at the triangle and the white light beams, it forms 666 going clockwise. Same symbol Google Chrome uses. Whoever that reads should understand. Say no to satanic infiltrations. Why can't homorexuals or taku their own conducive bodies instead of trying to mess with different cultures? Destruction of moral institutions is the aim. Oh my gosh. My lord in heaven, knock them down and cause them to shake with the fear of you and the burning sting of their sins shoved in their arrogant, rebellious faces. May they stumble hard over their mockery of your heavenly name, feeling the agony of their wretched hearts until they cry out to you in humble confession and repent quickly and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Expose their sins and crush their hardened, haughty hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. You use the word demand very freely. What you shall sow, you shall reap. Amen. Amen. Yes. When we see something unconstitutional, we have a right to demand the government rectify it. We all have that right. I see that you are unconstitutional. I think I shall start a petition in your state to have you removed. I will contact the congressman for your state and also the mayor for, for bullying, harassment, and cyber stalking. You will not be hard to find to follow through on this. Because now you're walking on my beliefs and constitutional rights. None of you atheists can ever put your face on the net. You must be ashamed of what you say. I would be if I were you. Oh, by the way, I have an IQ of 147, have been in the medical profession since 1982, have several years of college under my belt and nine certifications, have letters of commendation in my file with the state, DATIA drug collector for the state police, BAT technician, hair collector for drug testing, DNA collector, civil service DOT examiner, and much more. Plus, I do not eat children's name brand cereals. Most of all, I love my lord. Good night. Two human species must be recognized, homosexual and heterosexual. They play games with the lives of women and children. When you deny the genetic truth, humans are doomed. I will continue to defy the globalists in the new world order. I will speak against the establishment and I will tell people to think for yourselves and don't trust the government, and fight for what is right. Get behind us, Satan. You have no power. If libtards want to ban words, I want liberals banned. The person who wants to ban the word bossy is bossy herself. Don't tell me what I can and can't say, you libtard progressive scum. Death to politically correctness free speech, you piece of shit. When you make a mistake, who shouldn't have to pay for the mistake by not working? This message is to those at temp agencies. They're all a bunch of idiots. I made one mistake in my life. I have the right to work where I want, when I want. You shouldn't hold a mistake against me. I demand work, or I'll get a lawyer, and I'll make you people give me a job. You're messing with the wrong person. You people will give me a job or else. To the snitches at FedEx. Yeah, it's been two years and I still haven't forgotten, nor will I forget it. Seems that slowly, we are finding out the truth, and by slowly, one by one, they're being picked off. Do I care what people think? Hell no! Do I care if I hurt them? No, they didn't think when they fell for the lies and I lost my job for nothing worthless. Liars will die! So those that think they are smart by covering up their lies by lying us more, your pain will be so great that you'll be begging for death, but I won't kill you. I'll make you live so you suffer as my friend and I did for the past two years. I know you stupid motherfuckers still look for my blogs as assholes at FedEx. So when the last snitch is taken out with an axe in his back, you will know this is victory for me. I warn people that if they touch my job, I'm going to kill them all. So back the fuck off when I reapply or blood will be shed, stupid ass pricks. Don't get mad at me because I'm blessed. Isn't that funny how some people can say what they want. They can rant and cuss all they want, but as soon as something happens to me, like losing my job last year, and I say something about it, everybody thinks I'm the bad guy. I didn't do anything wrong. Truth is, people violate my freedom of speech. 
and they want to limit my civil rights on the net? They think they're going to silence me because I'm a Christian? Well, they think wrong. You can't silence the word of God. Or you can't silence a man that is of God. So all you haters, keep it up. You'll have something coming. I'll get your IP addresses, and I'll report you haters to the feds. Ha! So don't get mad at me because I'm blessed. I don't believe gays will get four whites in our lifetime, but who's to say that they won't ever? My hatred towards gays is strong. I don't want my kids being taught in school that it's okay to be gay, because it most certainly is not. It all boils down to religion. You can pull all of the scientific data you want, but it is a hard fact that 75.7% of HIV AIDS carriers are homosexuals. The CDC released a new study that stated if HIV rates keep up at the current level, within 40 years, one out of every two gay men will have HIV by age 50. There were other reasons. If I don't want to bake your ass a cake, then go down the fucking road somewhere. You don't see heterosexuals marching down Main Street in a dress with makeup and a dog collar. If your wife misunderstands to save the Jewish idol guys, then so be it. Mine is to exterminate them. Ha 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 ha! Copy it all you want. The original message was deleted, so your copy is useless. Good luck, let my ass off. Oh, by the way, check out Ham's wall. So many ignorant people out there with attitude problems. You folks need to attend angle management classes and learn some social skills. This is criminal, I don't care. Christianity was always the norm through most of history after Jesus came the first time. Satan changed the picture because he is the forget himself. Christian principles were what the laws were founded upon. Now they are being changed to facilitate immoral behavior. Yep. It really PRs me more than you know. He's actually right. Horror movies were designed to open up your mind because fear leaves your mind vulnerable. Exactly. I agree with him. Pornography opens you up to the spirit of perversion. And horror films opens you up to the spirit of fear, which are demonic. Was told this at my church four years ago. It's true 100%. I knew this long before he was asked this question. I was watching too. When one entertains the wickedness, i.e. movies, books, spells, whatever, Satan's there. Always rebuke everything in the name of Christ Jesus. Do not watch reality shows about ghosts either. Ghost hunters equals dark spirits. I believe there is some truth to this. I still remember a story ten years ago at my church. A couple woke up the pastor at 3 a.m. terrified. They said they'd been watching the movie The Craft, and demonic creatures leaped out of the TV screen at them. No reason to believe that they were lying. I didn't support a woman ruling on a man, gender equality, because biblically the man has been made the head, while the woman should be submissive to the man. Any woman who desires ruling a woman is rebelling against God. It is secular, and I urge women to be submissive to their husband, not to rule on them. Especially my, my wife, if she's listening. God loves everyone, but not their sin. Get over it. Homosexuality is wrong and gross and sin. All the countries who support gay marriages will go to the gutter permanently for their wickedness one by one. You can't truthfully say that. No one ever gets fired for being heterosexuality. It's just the law of averages and numbers is against that statement. We've, we've posted examples of it in the past, but to be honest, I'm too lazy to look them up right now. Jonathan. God's word, the Bible says that it is wrong. Also, God and Allah, two different persons. Allah is and was a human. The real God of the Bible is in no way the same. You need to get your facts straight. Allah is a demon. You should read the satanic verses. Then read the Bible. 
I was talking to some senior citizens the other day, and they told me when I was younger, they said they used to think that my generation was hard to understand. But this new generation is even harder to understand. They change the meaning of words and call it slang. I have learned one thing, and that is changing the meaning of word is not proper English. It causes quarrels and disagreements. So please, all you of the younger generation, stop changing the meaning of words, because all you're doing is making it harder on yourselves and others like you. Oh, exactly. It's sad that we are more worried about what is politically correct instead of saying what needs to be said. Let us pull your pants up and learn proper English. I just got back from taking our dog for a walk, and I saw a woodpecker pecking on a street lamp. I vote for a propo. It is for the politically correct. Like the woodpecker, they are banging on the wrong things in life, and thinking that they write in doing the wrong thing. Well, it's like this. There's some organization that don't know the difference between who they are and what they do. They seem to think that the two are one in the same. Well, I beg to differ. That like saying that an apple and an orange are the same just because they are fruit. So these people need to get a grip and grow up. Mary, that's because the boy knows he is in the wrong. Also, his mom is not teaching what is and wrong. Also, I'd be will to go so far to say that his parents are do one of two thing. One, they may not be giving him the right attention, or giving enough attention, or both. I do want to thank the gay community for giving AIDS. You son of a bitch, Harry. Dear Rev Atheist, if there was no God and you know that to be true because you said so, what is left for me to believe in? I hope to die and go the heaven. Now that's gone, maybe. I should become a follower of Satan. Not heard you saying that's not real. Then again, if we all followed him, just maybe he might be true. We await the word of the wise, all-knowing atheist. Yes, we await. Same-sex marriage has been voted down in almost every election by the people. But liberal court judges have overruled the people every time. This is no longer a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. It's an oppressive regime which wants to make America the most immoral and sexually depraved nation in the world. Thank you, Justin, but I thank the living God for bearing to us in Leviticus 18.22 that no man shall have sexual relation with another man that he hates it. He x-rayed to us the forbidden sexual practices, which includes homosexuality. All I know, and no amount of distortion or lie can upturn it, sin is sin, and no degree or amount of self-serving, and indeed nobody can change the laws of God on forbidden sexual practices. Whoever wants to live shall listen to the words of God and not to man-made hellish laws. Sin is sin, and no degree or amount of self-serving, and indeed nobody can change the laws of God on forbidden sexual practices. Whoever wants to live shall listen to the words of God and not to man-made hellish laws. Will Harry finally learn what irony is? Or empathy? Can your humble narrator keep it together? Is this the end of the comedic crusader? Tune in in 20 minutes or so. Same Illerate time, same Illerate channel.